Good morning, my grade twos. I hope that you are all well. Today, we are going to continue with our money problem solving using South African money. So on the left hand side of the page, we have a five rand coin, a two rand coin and a one rand coin. So these are our rand coins. Then on the right hand side of the page, we have our cent coins. We have a 50 cent coin, a 20 cent coin, a 10 cent coin and a 5 cent coin. So these are our cent coins. Then today we are moving on and learning about notes. So we have our 10 rand note, our 20 rand note. 50 rand note, 100 rand note, and 200 rand note. The easiest way to determine which one is which is by looking at the number on each coin note, sorry, and the color. Tips for solving word problems. Read each sentence out loud, slowly and carefully. Notice the important information in the problem they're asking you to solve. Draw pictures to help you understand. Write the calculation out in full. So, for example, 2 Rand plus 5 Rand is 7 Rand. Solve the problem showing all of your working out. And lastly, check your answers carefully when you are finished. Right, so our first problem. Can you solve this problem? Armand bought a teddy bear and a car from the toy shop. How much did he spend all together? So there's a few items in this toy shop. Is there anything you notice when it comes to the value of these items? What do they all have in common? What is all similar or the same? They all are cents. Can you see that? Right, so let's read our sum again. Arman bought a teddy bear, so let's highlight teddy bear because that's important, and a car. So we know he bought a teddy bear and a car. So now we can write our sum. 50 cents for the teddy bear plus 20 cents for the car. How did we know it was a plus sum? We know because the question asked us, how much did he spend all together? Remember our magic word is all together. When we see that word, we automatically know, which means we know straight away that it's going to be a plus sum, an addition sum. So what is 50 plus 20? 50 cents plus 20 cents is? You're going to write your answer and don't forget your curly cut. And what is our problem solving sentence going to be for this sum? It's going to say, Arman spent 'll we'll stop so remember you need to do your sum and then your sum sentence our next problem we've got a bunch of food items some fruit some jam pizza some rolls some milk some chicken but this time we've got some rand items and some cent items. What does our problem say? Ariel bought three pizzas for her birthday party. How much did she spend all together? 
Has it got our magic word? Yes, it does. All together. So we know it's going to be a plus sum. Let's highlight our important information in our sum sentence. Ariel bought three pizzas. How much does one pizza cost? Two rand. So our sum is going to be two rand plus two rand plus another two rand because she bought three pizzas. So we can simply count in twos to get our answer. Two four six so she spent six rand so our sentence is going to be ariel spent six rand with a full stop and our last sum says Keanu had 20 rand to spend. Could he buy a pineapple? Would he get any change? And how much change would he get? So let's pretend he got a he has a 20 rand note in his hand that he is going to spend on this pineapple. So let's see. Going to highlight he has 20 rand and he wants to buy a pineapple. One pineapple is 10 rand and he has 20 rand. So what is our sum going to be? 20 rand because this is how much he has and he's going to buy a pineapple for 10 rand and we want to see how much change he gets. So what is 20 minus 10? It's going to be a rand answer. So you're going to tell me what the answer is. 20 rand minus 10 rand. Would he get any change? Yes or no? If you think it's yes, then you write yes. If you think it's no, you're going to write no. How much change? So I'm going to say yes, comma, Keanu will get mm, rand change. Full stop okay boys and girls this is the end of our money lesson today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you concentrated and learned a few interesting things about coins and notes and i will see you all tomorrow have a beautiful rest of your day bye bye